This is the presentation of the Cote d'Ivoire slideshow. We arrived at the airport and got all of our luggage put up. I had a lot of it. We brought some tracks and such out to uh, the Ivory Coast. Had a good flight all the way out and then a nine hour drive once we got to Cote d'Ivoire. Here's a few of the pictures of on the way to their house. Here's the church driveway slash road. We worked on that and got part of it filled in. It's a joy to be able to work with the Cuppertsons and be able to work with some of the Ivorians there. Here's some Muslims that are very devout. Here's one of the roads close to the church. This is somewhat normal of a road. Only they're pretty bumpy and rough. Helps give us Americans a little more appreciation for how good the roads are. Enjoy yeah. spending time on the ocean and on the beach. Beaches are a whole lot less crowded, so that was great. Got a hole in my first monkey. This is a picture of the church on the inside and a picture of the church and the school on the outside. This is a picture of a school graduation going on when I first got there. Here's a guy with his apprentice. The apprentice is doing the work while he sits on the couch. Here we are in the little market doing some shopping. A little bit different than your regular Walmart. Matthew and Susanna Schrock, they had their baby while we were there. Here's us working on the church some more. It was a nice hot and humid day that day. Here's the roads after some rain. Here's part of the port. They do have regular stores there, amazing or not. This is the house that I got a, the privilege to stay in. This is the hot water system. This is the view from the top. We were about a half a mile from the beach. This is Joseph playing with the kids on Saturday mornings. This is Miss Cupperson teaching them a Bible lesson. It was cool because we got to see four kids saved out of that ministry. Here is French bread. It's about 25 cents per loaf. This is when we were working on the church roof. We replaced a lot of the screws and such. Here we are working on a shower for the camp. This is some of the traffic. Most Ivorians try to get places fast, so traffic jams up quite quickly. They have some interesting looking trucks. This is us riding to Sassandra in a bus. This is one of the meals we got to eat while we were over there. This is on the way back from Sassandra in a bus. This is the seat I got to sit on. It was at quite the angle. Here's a fabric shop. Here's at the big market. Here's where you would buy shoes. Here's where you would just buy just about anything. Here we are working at Petit Pedro, a village about 30 minutes from where we stayed. We worked on a building there for the kids and for the ladies to have their Sunday school and classes in. Here 
we didn't eat African food all the time. Sometimes we got to have some American food. That was always a plus. Here I am with some kids from the English class. Here we are painting a foosball table that we completely redid. Here's some Ivorian kids playing foosball. Here's another Saturday morning class. Here's Matt Schrock standing by a group of guys that we just handed out a bunch of tracks to. Here is in a village. Here's the police. This is how they stop the vehicles. This is a wall that we were going to work on painting. Pretty rough shape at the time. But we did get some paint on there and it started looking a lot better. There's a wide angle shot of all the paint. That's us after teaching some English class. Playing with some of the kids. kids enjoying playing with Alyssa. There's a view in the evening. There's a couple sunrise pictures that we got when we went to the beach. Most of all is just a joy to be able to serve our wonderful Lord who saved me and who sent his son to pay the price for what all I've messed up on. I thoroughly enjoyed just getting to serve him, and I enjoyed you know, stay with the Cuppersons, and I just want to thank our wonderful Lord. Thanks for watching.